me here today. Gonna say something? Well, I'm gonna about to do this death-defying stunt here, and uh, I'd like to wish everybody uh, to uh, don't fear for me. And uh, here I go. Happy New Year. What are they talking about, ladies and gentlemen? Who will ever know? What kind of? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to right near the top of that center window, head down, hanging upside down by his feet from a burning rope, ladies and gentlemen. We do ask everybody to stand back. We don't want anybody to get splattered on. You folks might want to get a better view. It stopped raining out here because we do need to keep this way clear in case he uh, misses. Uh, right now, he will be coming out in a few minutes. We have uh, a straight jacket. This is not an altered jacket. This is a your standard everyday straight jacket, the kind you use at home late at night. And uh, we have this gentleman. Once again, we're going to introduce him. Have a nice round of applause. Dale Stanfield from the Sacramento Police Department. Dale will be securing our hero into the straight jacket as soon as he's uh, psyched up and ready to go. He'll be coming out. Once he's into the straight jacket, I'm going to give you the whole thing. We'll be tying his feet into this hangman's noose that you see lying in front of you. At that point, the rope, which has been soaked in gasoline for the last five minutes, will be ignited. At that time, our crane will lift him up to a height of 30 feet, hanging just in the center of the building, right above that center window. He will not start to get out of the straight jacket until he reaches the set height. At that time, it will attempt to get out of the straitjacket and drop it to the ground before we start to bring him back down. This is a thing that has been timed out. The rope has been tested. It takes three and a half to four minutes to burn through. It takes Mike approximately two minutes to get out of the straitjacket. So figuring time going up and coming down, he has about a 20 second margin of error. Ladies and gentlemen, as long as we have everyone's attention, having a nice round of applause, our crane operator and AAA crane who volunteered their uh, time and uh, efforts this afternoon. Everybody, please, thank you. AAA crane, thank you. It's all in his hands. And is he nervous? Hell yes. <laughs> I would be. Here's Mike, our hero today. Everybody, round of applause. Mike Rosso from Atlanta, Georgia. Dale, if you'd like to secure him. At this time, Officer Stanfield, the Sacramento Police Department will secure our hero into the straight jacket. This is a canvas straight jacket with leather bindings and leather straps. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> the tension is thick. You can cut it within the next Right now he's securing the back of the straight jacket. Once again, all leather straps being buckled to the top, most tightest that you can on the uh, belt thing. Well, when I first practiced, yes, I did. In just moments, ladies and gentlemen, this jet man will be suspended high above your heads. But he got me to this point. We'll attempt to escape from the straight jacket. Do that one nice and tight, Dale. <laughs> oh, Mike, how's it going? Uh, anyway. His feet are now being bound in a towel. This is to keep the rope from cutting into his ankles. In just a second, he'll step into the hangman's noose and be raised.
This is actually very important because we don't want Mike to lose his concentration. He needs to keep all his mind and mentality on the straitjacket and not have to worry about the security of the rope and how it is on his ankle. It's being tightened now around his feet. Tighter. Hopefully be hanging face out, but he'll have a tendency to spin a little bit, which makes it a little harder for him to get out of the straight jacket. The match didn't light. The rope is now on fire. Now, the rope has been tested into four minutes. We need to use that time. He needs to be raised. Faster, faster. We need to get him as high as possible, as soon as possible, ladies and gentlemen. He's now being suspended. As fast as you can go, get him up to that level. A little bit higher, a little bit higher. It looks high enough, but about 30 feet, ladies and gentlemen. Mike is now attempting to get out of the straight jacket. The rope is burning. It's getting like he's got his arms free. Ladies and gentlemen, 30 seconds. We're going to watch the time on this for Mike. He's trying to get his hands free. The rope is still burning. He's coming up on 60 seconds. Then hand is loose in the back. He's trying to loosen the straight jacket. Yeah, and from my standpoint, it's probably the closest I've come. I actually thought I was going to fall on one point. 